Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on the Share to Classroom Chrome extension for your Google Classroom. My name is Tyler Osborne. So today I'm going to show you one of the very handy um, Chrome extensions that you can use for your students in your classroom. So to remember, uh, remembering how to find extensions, you go to your app drawer in the top left corner. If you're on a Chromebook, it's going to be the bottom right corner of those circles. And there's the App Store right there. If you don't see the App Store in the top left corner, it might be in the other page or two that you have. So you just click on the rectangles at the bottom to change pages. So let's go into the web store. And to find what I'm looking for, I'm just going to type the word classroom. It's going to give me all kinds of extensions and apps that work with classroom. Today, we're specifically going to be looking at the shared classroom extension. I can add it right here if I don't have it yet, or I can click into it, read the description and the reviews, and then press add to Chrome. Now I already have it added, that's why my button's already green. Yours should be blue. Now this is the extension right here. It's a little person inside of a green box with a yellow outline. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to push any web page that I have open to my students. Now you can actually select which classroom that you want to push to and anything that you're enrolled in or anything that you're teaching will show up. So here's my 21 cent learning class. Now, right here, I have the push to students options, but there's a triangle. So let's take a look at what options you have. So I could create a new assignment with it. I could ask a question and students could respond, or I could make an announcement and the students would get this page on any of those three. If I leave it at the push to students button, what it's going to actually do is pop up on their screens. So anybody that's signed into their account um, will have this pop up onto their screen. So this is a great thing to do if one of the students um, maybe finds something that's really interesting that the whole class should take a look at. You can have them push it to the rest of the class. Students can do this too. Um, it's not just the teachers. Anybody that has this extension, uh, this extension installed and you give them permission, they can do it. So I'm going to try and create a question with it. Or no, let's do an announcement. So I'm going to say, check this out. And there's no topic here, but I could select a topic. And this is what they're going to see. They're going to see the Chrome, uh, the Chrome Web Store classroom, um, shared to classroom extension. So I'm going to press post. And then if I want to see it in classroom, I can just click on this, this view. I'm going to go back for a second here. Because we hadn't quite finished. There we go. We hadn't quite finished looking at the options. So down here, we have pushed to students. This is a record of things that I have pushed to them. And this is the things that they have pushed to, to me. You have settings, you have some feedback and some help options as well. Now, from anywhere inside the shared to classroom extension, you actually have this open classroom button. And I really like this button. This is the primary way that I get into my Google Classroom. So I'm gonna press that button and it's gonna take me to the options. So here's my different uh, classrooms, and I'm going to click on to the one that I just did, and there it is. There is our shared uh, web page to the Google Chrome Store. So that is Shared to Classroom, uh, an extension that I think is really useful and that every teacher should have installed, and maybe even some of your students too. Thanks for watching.